Well, it's 2016. A new year, new aspirations, and possibly a new Zelda iteration. Honestly, I don't really think it has dawned on me that Zelda Wii U will probably be released this year. So to build up anticipation until we finally hear more about the elusive title, I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look at Zelda Wii U at a more organic perspective, instead of going overly academic with it. What do I mean by this? Well, by taking a look at Zelda Wii U in relation to recent events. Personally, I believe it is a fair guess to assume that Zelda Wii U will be released sometime in the fourth quarter this year. My theory, this November, considering that past console Zelda titles have all been released on November. For example, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. Additionally, Nintendo will probably pull the whole Zelda 30th Anniversary event as a way to remarket Zelda U to symbolically usher in a brand new age of The Legend of Zelda. What else fits into this narrative? Nintendo's latest console, DNX. Now, there has been endless debates about whether or not Zelda Wii U will dual launch on both the Wii U and the NX. And after thinking about it for a while, I have come to the following conclusion. During a past discussion with a friend of mine, Pone Apples, he brought up a considerable argument that Zelda Wii U will be on the Wii U but the NX will be backwards compatible with Wii U games, meaning that Zelda Wii U will be on the console it was originally designed for, but it will also make an appearance on the NX through backwards compatibility. This would make sense considering that the Wii U isn't the most best-selling of systems, and Nintendo could bring a bunch of Wii U games on the NX. For example, I don't think Nintendo will kill off games like Smash 4 or Splatoon this early. They are still insanely popular games. DNX will more than likely be backwards compatible. The main reason why I subscribe to this notion is the release of the NX. I believe it is more likely that the NX will be released this year rather than in 2017. Supposedly, Nomura Security said that Nintendo will announce the NX sometime in March and May. March and May. Those months are interesting, we'll come back to these later. And considering that Square Enix in the past has accidentally said that Dragon Quest XI will be on the NX, this rumor may be onto something. Now, what does all this gibberish mean? Well, if Nintendo is going to release the NX and Zelda Wii U this year, we can infer a connection between the two. A Zelda launch title on the NX does sound appealing, I must admit. My prediction? The NX will be backwards compatible, and Zelda Wii U will probably have some sort of a presence on the console, but it will be on the Wii U. But quickly segueing into launch titles, there will probably be a Mario game on the NX. Big surprise, I know, but I am quite excited. I love 3D World. But back to Zelda U. What else can we expect from this enigmatic project? Well, that is where Twilight Princess HD comes in. The game releases this March, which is the same month where Nomura Security supposedly states that we will hear more information about the NX. And if that's the case, I don't think it is too far of a stretch that we will hear more about Zelda Wii U around March as well, with a big reveal at E3 2016 of course. TPHD and Zelda Wii U do share a tangible connection, which lays in the Wolf Link amiibo. Nintendo has stated that data can be transferred from TPHD to Zelda U. Now, that is incredibly vague. For all we know, this only pertains to an extra skin or something trivial. But that isn't important, at least not in this part. TPHD is a launching point to market Zelda for its 30th anniversary in 2016. And I know I have to talk about this. The leaked Zelda New Generations video that took the internet by storm. For those that don't know, an independent film company made a video showing off a new generation of Zelda. And to illustrate the video the best I can without showing it, since I can get striked if I do, I'll use the villager and big boss to illustrate it best I can. Really nothing too special was in the video. No new Zelda Wii U footage was seen, but we do have a little girl who wants to be like Link, and an encouraging father pushing her along. He eventually makes her a Link costume, and then she becomes all happy. And at the end, we see the text that says, A new generation begins. Now, according to a friend of mine, Game Over Jesse, the video is real, but it was sent by an independent studio to Nintendo for them to review, possibly pending Nintendo's approval. 
Ultimately, we can conclude that Nintendo is in fact pursuing new ways to market Zelda to a broader audience, possibly a more casual one, which would make sense, considering that they are on the precipice of revealing a new console. So is Nintendo ushering in a new generation of Zelda? Well, that is difficult to make out. But we do have some other signs to consider. Zelda U is quite the unorthodox entry. It promises a vast open environment, and of course a new Link design. I would say that Nintendo is in the process of remarketing and transforming the Zelda series. A big step was Hyrule Warriors, and recently Legends on the 3DS, which are Zelda games that hold considerable promise. And that brings us to another notable point. Hyrule Warriors was announced in the December of 2013. Until E3 2014 came along, there was hardly any information about the game. When E3 occurred, we learned much more about the title. Fast forward to today's time, and we have Hyrule Warriors Legends. And when does it release? March this year, the same month of the release of Twilight Princess HD. And again, the same month when Nomura Securities states that we will have more information about the NX. Again, this is ultimately speculation, but I believe it is a fair guess to presume that we will learn more about Zelda Wii U sometime during or after the month of March, with a massive reveal at E3 2016. In conclusion, we are at an exciting time. March is only a few months away. I am pretty sure that they will pull off a great E3, and Zelda Wii U will be released. Spirits are high. And speaking about the future of Zelda, I am very curious on the prospect of Zelda NX. Zelda Wii U likely begun development after Skyward Sword in 2011. Since then, it is a Zelda title built for the Wii U, and likely to push the console to its limits. That is why I would like to see a Zelda iteration that is built primarily for the NX, to take full advantage of that system. And speaking about the NX for a few moments, the world conqueror in the making, Maka from Nintendo Box brought up a good point about the console. Recently, the dedicated handheld market has shrunk, and 3DS sales outside of Japan are at an absolute crawl. If the NX really does fuse both handheld and console concepts, perhaps Nintendo has something up their sleeves to reinvigorate handheld sales. Now, what does this all mean in the grand scheme of things? Recently, we discussed that Zelda is in a period of transformation. But it isn't the only Nintendo series doing so. After the release of Super Mario Maker, Shigeru Miyamoto also expressed that future Mario titles will also be seeing a change. In fact, you can argue a similar thing is occurring with the Metroid series, but that is a whole nother can of worms. So in summary, the NX will likely bring about a change in Nintendo, with a new executive taking charge, and a new policy in Nintendo's presence in the world market. We will probably get more Zelda Wii U and NX info during or after March, with a big reveal at E3 2016. Zelda Wii U will likely be released in the fourth quarter of 2016, and Nintendo will use Zelda's 30th anniversary to bring Zelda to a wider audience, while simultaneously using the increased press to push their own new console, the NX. And wow, that is a lot to go over. And we're still not done yet. In the next part next Monday, we will discuss the possible plot of Zelda Wii U. Also, if anyone has any leads concerning Zelda Wii U, or anything of the sort, comment below with a source, and I'll feature you in the next video. Well, I have to be heading out now. I hope everyone who's watching us the absolute best, and take care. It's almost time, isn't it? Yep, just one more month. What's our progress so far? Excellent. We are just about ready. Soon, the doors will open.